Uh, we are also getting word that the University of Idaho is fast-tracking uh, its plans to tear down one of the biggest pieces of evidence in the case against Brian Koberger, and that is the house where the four students were killed last November, 1122 King Road in Moscow. We are learning the university has changed its plans and decided to tear down the structure sooner than their original timeline, which said the house uh, would be demoed sometime by the end of the semester. Other information we're learning tonight is that Koberger has lost a significant amount of weight while behind bars. He's been held uh, at the Latak County Jail in Idaho for three months since his extradition from Pennsylvania following his arrest. That was back on December 30th. We've reported on Koberger's vegan diet, which he adheres to strictly, and on the massive amount of weight that he dropped also while he was in high school. And now we're learning from jail sources this recent weight loss, uh, it could be due to Koberger not liking the jail food or uh, the vegan diet uh, that he's been fed behind bars. I mean, you're in jail. I mean, come on. But for, for more on all of this develop, all these developments, we want to go right to News Nation's national correspondent, uh, Alex Capriello. Uh, he is in Moscow, Idaho right now. Uh, he is outside the house uh, where all of this happened. It's interesting to see you there, Alex. Um, I haven't been there in a while. I saw you pretty, pretty soon after the murders, you were out there. Um, looks like you're able to get much closer to the house now uh, which is interesting. We know that they are planning to tear it down soon. Any indication out there that that could be happening like very, very soon in the next couple of days? Well, we really haven't seen much of a presence out here besides ourselves and the security that stands guard 24-7. But as you noted, Brian, things are a lot different than the last time you and I were here uh, for our News Nation special. You can see I'm much, much closer to the house. They've allowed us onto the driveway, and I think that's primarily because they have these new sort of barriers that are lining the entire perimeter of the home, this industrial strength uh, fencing. Also, obviously, the boarded up windows, the boarded up doors, uh, no matter what angle you look at this house, you're going to find these covering up everything. But beyond that, it's still a waiting game when it comes to the actual demolition of this house. Uh, we don't have any indication that that's happening right now or in the near future. We're just sort of waiting for the University of Idaho to make a move or at least an announcement that might come down from a higher authority. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. it. It's good you're out there. It's certainly interesting to see the way that it is boarded up now. Um, and uh, hopefully you'll get some warning before they, um, they come out there and start to tear it down. But it, it does appear at this point that it's, that it's in an imminent. Uh, Alex Capriello, thank you so much. Uh, yeah. We appreciate you coming on tonight. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.